What is happening guys? Welcome back to another water cooling guide or tutorial if you want to call it. This time we are going to show you guys how to fill up your PC and also how to drain it. Now there are a few techniques involved. A few companies don't have some of the gear required to make it easier to actually drain the system and fill it. But for the sakes of this, we're going to choose bits power. We're going to show you guys how we drain it, how we fill it and what you guys should do in steps for preparation to actually draining the system. So I have the system all tubed up let's begin all right to start things off first you want to get a reservoir which has many fill ports up the top makes it a lot easier to drain and fill you can see i had one fill port which was open this is key for filling the build next you want to bridge your 24 pin cable this is to act like a jump start to actually start the pump only plug your pump in you don't want to plug in your motherboard or anything otherwise you've got live electricity in the system which is not good if you have water leaking slowly filling the build I have paper towel down in case there are any small leaks I'm using distilled water at the moment just to show you guys but the same technique applies with any other liquid on the market you can use a tube and a funnel to either fill your reservoir slowly or you can do what I'm doing and use a syringe type tool to fill the build once it's full, turn the power supply on and let the system run through. Once the reservoir is empty, please stop the pump straight away. Turn the power off because you don't want the pump to run dry. Refill it using the same method all the way up to the top and then hit that switch again. Let it run through and this time you can see that the whole build is almost full. There is a tiny bit of air up the top. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the system running and just fill it the rest of the way through that free port. I'm also going to leave that port open because a lot of air gets stuck in the radiators and a few of the water blocks so i'm going to leave that port open let it run for a while and that will bleed out the system that'll remove some of the air then you can just top it up at the end time to drain it guys this is what it looks like full it's been a while since the liquid's been in there you want to get the liquid out what i'm doing is i'm undoing the stop fitting on the valve i'm applying a piece of soft tube to the valve you don't have to do this you can simply hold a bucket at the end of the valve but the soft tube just makes it a lot easier i'm able to elevate my PC a lot more, therefore the tube can run down and gravity can take its toll on the water. Releasing the valve, the water is slowly coming out. However, it's not coming out fast enough. The liquid needs something to replace it with so that it can come out fast. So by undoing the port up the top, the air is able to replace the liquid in the system and therefore the liquid can run out a lot faster. Pretty simple guys, a nice easy tutorial for you guys to follow along. It is really simple. There will still be a bit of liquid in the tubes, but a bit of tilting or just taking the tubes off one by one as as they are empty will solve the job just have a little bit of paper towel on hand for any loose drips here and there and you should be good to go i hope you all enjoyed this really quick tutorial remember to check out more we've got lots of custom pcs lots of diy modding lots of water cooling tutorials and reviews hope you guys enjoyed like the video and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one